Right now, let's get you breaking updates coming in of rain wreaking havoc. Nine people have been killed in the last nine days in rain-related incidents in Mumbai. Uh, these are the details coming in from Mumbai with nine people losing their lives in rain-related incidents. Unfortunate uh, development. Two people died after uh, drowning in a manhole. Four were killed after a building collapse. Three killed after uh, tree fall incidents. Nine lives in total snuffed out uh, during heavy rains, incessant rains in the city of Mumbai. And this includes the manhole incident where two people have been killed in building collapse. Uh, four people have been killed in separate incidents. And there have also been several incidents of tree fall which have also claimed several lives. And this also comes at a time when the opposition leaders are also raising questions on the preparedness of the BMC. Uh, our colleagues Kumar Ankit as well as Shweta joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Shweta, what's the situation like? Unfortunate news coming in of... Just in the nine days, last nine days, nine people being killed in rain-related incidents. Oh, well, that's correct. In fact, this is uh, very unfortunate and this questions BMC in a huge manner what BMC has exactly done in the name of monsoon preparedness. Quickly showing you the visuals from this is the area which links Samankud and Chembur as you can see how waterlogged this area is and this place is quite deluged in water and here you can see how pedestrians are facing uh, you know lot many difficulties while coming towards the station end plus there have been already huge potholes one can imagine imagine how much difficulties it is for the Mumbai cars to travel as my video journalist Anil is showing you the live visuals from the chamber uh, Mankud area here you can see even the uh, not, not only pedestrians in fact the vehicles are in fact getting submerged in water and this is the situation arising questions on BMC as you have mentioned that nine incidences and right. we absolutely Shweta, uh, let me come back to you we uh, also have ankit on the broadcast reporting from magathane where it has become extremely dangerous given the proximity of the excavation site to the metro station ankit we given to understand that a joint uh, inspection was done by the mmrda the bmc and uh, the the metro over there what have they found and what arrangements will be made now to ensure that people's lives are not at risk Uh, yes, that's absolutely right. Currently, I'm standing uh, near the Magathane metro station where the landslide, landslide happened on Saturday. If you see in the visuals, how dangerous are the visuals? And if you see over there, there is a, uh, there is a bulldozer and they are putting all the soils which uh, they have uh, put, took out before uh, for, the, for, for the construction work because it's a, it's a very, very dangerous. If you see, I would like to tell my VJ to just zoom out. There is an escalator uh, of uh, Magathane a metro station where people uh, can come uh, can uh, exit of uh, Magatani metro station where people can come out and it's a border of the escalator and from uh, in near to that border or uh, they are uh, they were digging and there was a uh, uh, drain was just uh, so also there and because of that it was completely damaged and uh, due to the due to the digging uh, due to the due to the construction work and as you can see over here be near to the border of the escalator uh, the, the construction work was going on there is no uh, prepared uh, because as we all know from last five days we are uh, witnessing heavy rains in the in the Mumbai orange alert is declared and on that note uh, this incident took a place of uh, where the landslide yes definitely the Magatane metro station is uh, is going on the metro is walking but um, the metro station is on a Western Express Highway so on a Western Express Highway as well uh, lakhs of uh, vehicles every day uh, go from this place but very important near to the metro station this construction work is going on so very very big question on the on the BMC, on the administration, that what were do, they were doing before monsoon, when they knew that the construction work is going on, and there is a uh, there is a one cave under uh, jurisdiction of uh, BMC, and uh, or because of that uh, this incident took place. The case has been registered. The FIR has been registered on the builder. The work has been stopped 
because of the fire which was registered, BMC is now also going to take action against the architect. But very important question there is a border there is no border there is no wall when you are making any kind of a metro be, uh, this kind of a metro station because uh, like a local mumbai local metro is also a place a very very important role in the city of mumbai if you can see in the visuals the uh, the bulldozer which they are putting all the soils right now uh, at that at this place but very important who is responsible for this the landslide just happened why because there was a as you can see over here uh, there is a, a big uh, uh, big uh, towers are, are also there and in the tower also there is a parking and near to the parking also uh, there is no there is uh, no border nothing that keeps on digging digging uh, on that note when there was a from the residents of that building they have uh, uh, that uh, tra they have completely shown this incident on the on the social media on the twitter and later on on the saturday when this landslide happened then after that the mumbai uh, metro department uh, the bmc everybody has uh, taken precaution the security is there the, they have uh, registered FRI as well. The work is completely stopped. But who is responsible? Because uh, pre-monsoon, uh, you have uh, your BMC come up with uh, that we are ready for the monsoon. But wh why there is no uh, wall? Why there is no uh, there is no plan that if, if uh, there is a you know, there is and, a plan and which is given to the builder? We have witnessed this earlier as well. Uh, the builders taking liberty and due to their construction damaging public property now why has this been allowed is a big question is it due to some sort of a uh, you know a give and take between those who are giving permission and the builders is this due to negligence is this due to corruption ankit can you hear me Well, it's raining heavily. The city of Mumbai looks like we have some network issues connecting with uh, Ankit. We will connect with him and get you more updates. Meanwhile, these are visuals coming in from in and around Mumbai, from Mumbai and from Thane district as well. You can see police station inundated. Uh, water has uh, entered people's homes. Uh, streets are inundated. Railway tracks are inundated. Visuals coming in from Andheri and Navi Mumbai as well. So going back to Ankit, who's back with us. So Ankit, you were bringing us a ground report on what the situation is like. And here is another incident where civic apathy is clearly to blame. There are several residents in the area, the high rises, and not to forget the motorists as well, who are put to risk because of the construction that was going in completely unchecked. Yes, that's, that's absolutely right. The construction work which was going on, the, there is no plan. If you see over there, there is a cave also which was come under the uh, BMC jurisdiction. And apart from that, if you see, uh, there is a damage of a uh, drain water stream over there as well. So right now, they are taking care. Right now, putting all the soils. If you see, uh, the bulldozers, uh, bulldozers, bulldozers are there keeping, uh, putting all the sl sl uh, slides, uh, all the soils. Uh, but right now, they are doing everything. Why right now? Why there is no plan why there is no action which has been taken before monsoon because as we all know that it is not the place like the Maghatane metro station we are near uh, there is uh, the, uh, near 100 meters this construction work is going on and there there are uh, towers uh, hundreds of towers uh, near to the construction work that is also at risk Maghatane metro station is on a western express highway if anything goes wrong if uh, in, in next five to uh, six days if the if rain uh, uh, continue uh, rain still fall like this continuously then who is responsible because the Mumbai car for Mumbai car highways, local train, everything is a major, a very very important role which plays every day. And every day metro station is also important as a Mumbai local as well. So on that way there is a pillars of metro station and near under the pillar this incident took a place. So right now uh, the very big question that they have registered a FIR, but what will happen after the registering FIR? Because as we all know, uh, whenever there is a FIR has been registered, builder will never give you any kind of answers, nothing. Everybody is put a blame on each other, on BM, some uh, builder will put on BMC, BMC will put on builders. But in all days, Mumbai car life is at risk at this place right now. All right. Uh, so, Ankit, uh, uh, getting us that ground report, we'll also get in more reporters because it's not just in Magathane, but also several other areas in Mumbai which have been affected by the rain. So, we just played out visuals of police stations, several houses that are completely inundated. People can be seen uh, wading through knee-deep waters. Here are the visuals from uh, Dombivli to Baikala to even Vashi in uh, areas such as Andheri as well. This is the story every single time during the rains. Roads turning 
coming into rivers, the area being completely inundated, flooded completely, and people struggling to continue go to their offices as well. Uh, Ankit, what's the update in terms of uh, IMD prediction for uh, Mumbai? And also tell us about the services that have been impacted. See, but as per the IMD, IMD, it's an orange alert uh, declared in the Mumbai, but right now it's a relief for Mumbai because as we are also witnessing, there is no rain. I'm standing in the suburb area, but also in the south, uh, south, uh, south Bombay, on the eastern, uh, eastern side as well. We are not witnessing any kind of a rain. Yes, definitely in the, in the, uh, in the night around 2 to 3 a.m., we are witnessing heavy rain. And because of the heavy rain, Andheri subway was closed, but right now it's open. And orange alert is declared. BMC has also made the war room, as we all know, in the war room, they are monitoring each and every uh, situation but yes definitely incidents are happening it's a six day in the in the mumbai where he heavy rains are there but yes incidents are happening Tra trees are getting fall uh, the buildings are getting collapsed wall are also getting collapsed incidents are ha happening in the city of mumbai but right now it's a it's a very small relief for mumbai because it's not orange alert is declared but it's not raining in the city of mumbai okay all right uh, ankit thank you for joining us with those details but it's not just mumbai let's also get you reports from what's happening in the national capital bringing respite to the scorching heat heavy rains lashed parts of delhi ncr this morning and the indian med department has predicted light to moderate rainfall in parts of delhi well, let's uh, get you this ground report on the situation